Hi boys and girls, it's so lovely to be with you again for another le drawing lesson. Today we're going to be drawing a dolphin. And I love dolphins, I think they are our firm favourite for most people, it's for under the sea. And they are so fun and friendly and so we're going to learn how to draw a beautiful dolphin. So, we're going to start up at the top with his nose. And his back arching around, diagonally across, down to his tail down here. So we can use the whole area of our paper. I'm just using ordinary computer paper. I've got my pencil, my pencil crowns, and I've got my eraser for much later when I finish drawing my whole dolphin to do any corrections. And let's start. The dolphin has got um, a quite a long nose and and our main dolphins that we find around South Africa are called bottle-nosed dolphins Because they've got this sort of long nose. So we're going to start with a curved line Which is like a long U Up in the corner pointing up towards the corner We're going to curve out over his head and down his back then put on his dorsal fin. It's not as big as a killer whale that we've drawn before. And just curve those little edges. I don't really quite like how this point came out. Let me just correct that how I'd like it to be. And I'll rub out that mistake later. I'm going to carry on going down his back and curving down. I want to leave space for his tail. I'm going to come back up here on the smoothest line up, coming down, down under his belly, coming down towards his, in line with his dorsal fin. And I'm going to put a beautiful flipper. I want to jump in my mind across here. I want this line to match up with this line that I'm about to draw. I don't want to start up there. So I'm going to jump across in my mind under the flipper. And I'm going to come along his belly and I'm going to come up to, to thin towards his tail. Look where I want to go. Down towards his tail. I'm going to make this line just a little bit longer. Going down. And I'm going to put an extra line at the back here for his tail. A dolphin's flipper goes from, unlike a shark, which is up and down, a dolphin's flipper is side to side. So I just use my, dolph my curved lines just to draw a dolphin's tail. If you're struggling with the shape, you can just do a very simple sort of leaf shape, one, two, and he'll turn out beautifully. Let's come back here to his fin. We want to make him look a little bit more 3D. We've got the fin on this side of his body, but he will have another fin on the other side of his body. So let's put that in as well. Just copying that shape that we already have. And we're going to put in his mouth. A dolphin's mouth sort of comes on the lower part of his nose, so not in the middle, just a bit lower. And it comes out with a little smile, and then it comes down a little bit. Out into a little smile, and then down again. And we can put in his eye. And his blowhole on the top of his head. We're going to add one final detail and that we're going to put just like we did on the shark a squiggly line where he's got some color variation from the top between where his nose meets his face squiggly line is going to come down his belly under the fin jump across in my mind under that fin down his belly and i'm going to blend that line in under his tail all right now I want to take my eraser and if there's anything that I need to correct like this thing I wasn't happy with here on his dorsal fin 
I also feel maybe this line here is not quite right. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to make my correction first. I think it just needs to be a bit smoother. And now I'm going to take my eraser and erase where the mistake was. I've erased both lines, but I can see where the correct line is very easily. That's better in my mind. And I can spend a moment just to make sure everything is the way I'd like it to be. So if you want to spend a moment now, pause the video. Spend a moment to just do any corrections. Alright, we're going to colour him in. I'm going to, we've used a lot of black and greys and things so we're going to use more on the blue sides today just for fun i'm going to use a bit of black as well grade four to sevens you've learned a lot about using the rule of thirds to arrange things on my on my on our pages for good composition so that means that if i divide my page into three i don't want something that's slapping in the middle i want to have something that is just on the third line now we can use the same principle when we're colouring in. I want to do two thirds of my dolphin quite dark and then a, a highlight line on the third and then dark again on the outs, on the top. So look, have a look at the end of the video if you can spot where are those third lines uh, and how we've used the colour and the shading using the rule of thirds to really bring this dolphin out. So I'm going to start off with just giving him a general color everywhere and then I'm going to add in my shading. So I'm going to start with dark blue on the top and light blue at the bottom. Most sea animals, it's the same with the great white shark, they are dark on the top so predators looking down on them from above they just see the deep blue of the ocean and if they're looking up then they see the light of the underneath which is similar to the light of um, coming down from this from from the sun coming through the ocean surface so dark on top light at the bottom let's go Right, boys and girls I've just given him a general coloring everywhere I was just coloring in a picture like in a coloring in book this would be a job well done but we want to do more than that we want to learn more experiment more and so now I'm going to add in my tones um, with my pencil crowns I'm going to stick with my same pencil crowns near the end you will see I'm going to pick up my black pencil crown and just give him a bit of a gray shadow down his side that's just to bring up a little bit of grey, we don't want to be too blue, like a cartoon. So if you see me picking up my black at the end, that's what I'm doing. Right now I'm going to be looking for my thirds. So I want a bit of dark at the top. On this third here of my dolphin is going to be a lighter highlight. And then going from dark up, two thirds of dark. So look out for that as we go.
Alright boys and girls, we finished colouring and our dolphins really come to life. I want you to look out now if you can see on your screens where there are any third, rules of third coming out. So if I can point out to you some, there are different ways that we can use it. You can see that from the bottom of my dolphin to where this light area starts is about two thirds. Well this light area is on a third line. And then I want that dark at the top still to give that beautiful torpedo shape. I've even used it in different areas here. If you look here, if I look at this length, on the third line of this length is where I've put a highlight. So it's dark, light, dark. And here again, if I take this space here, I didn't put the highlight in the middle. I put it off to the left on the third line. So there, I've also used my rule of thirds in my colouring in, and it helps to bring your drawing to life. Um, these are just simple things that we can learn that after a while become natural. You don't think about it when you're drawing. Um, I've been mindful of the direction of my marks going down with the flow of the body. Um, I, it would look a bit funny maybe if I coloured in with straight lines. If I did curved lines going with his shape, that would be quite interesting. Um, and, and just remember that it is a drawing, not a photograph. And so if you can see some of your marks, I think that is lovely. It can add a lot of movement to your, to your dolphin and bring it to life. I hope that you enjoyed this drawing. Remember, rule of thirds can be used for our colouring in as well. And I look forward to seeing what you get to do with this. Remember, your dolphin will not look the same as mine. And that's just the way it's supposed to be. So I hope you have fun. Happy drawing.